state cabinet declares total lockdown in Manipur with immediate effect till March 31st to tackle COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. India reports ninth COVID-19 death after a man in West Bengal succumbed to the infection. Total positive corona cases in India reach 433. And Delhi police registers a case against a man who allegedly spat and called corona on a Manipuri girl. Hello and good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjim bringing you the top stories. Works Minister Thongam Biswajit has announced total lockdown in Manipur with immediate effect till March 31st in view of COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. The announcement was made following a decision taken during the state cabinet meeting today. However, emergency services and essential commodities will be exempted from the lockdown. Speaking to media, Minister Biswajit said, employees of essential services like medical electricity will continue their work as usual. He asserted that the cabinet meeting also resolved to urge people to self-quarantine at their homes. Minister Biswajit also declared that rice provided under NFSA for April will be given in advance to NFSA cardholders in March for their convenience during lockdown, stating that rice will be provided free of cost to CMHT cardholders who are devoid of NFSA card. He asserted that rice will also be provided to those who are completely devoid of these two cards. Responding to media query, if any decision has been taken to shut down the airport in view of the COVID-19 situation. Minister Biswajit said no discussions has been taken yet. He further mentioned that the centre might announce cancellation of flight services in India tomorrow. Upon asking if any initiatives have been taken to evacuate those Manipuris stranded in various states of the country owing to the lockdown, the minister met not response and instead appeal people to stay safe at home. Cabinet said that the government has not done anything to stop the spread of the total shutdown. The government has not done anything to stop the spread of the total shutdown. The government has not done anything to stop the spread of the total shutdown. The government has not done anything to stop the spread of the total shutdown. The government has not done anything to stop the spread of Relax to talk about the Aduga. Kungan Kungangi, Katsen Koya, the Lady Ba, the Madi Jagazaga Kudimata, Real Area, the Lady Ba, Quick Glossary, Jingzia, Hangba, Ting the Bahuga, Medical Gi, Tabukta, Wachin and our electricity, Gi, Tuan Tuan Bazingse, Quint Hotel, Saddam Zida, Quimaru, Jensel, Servicing, the Sing Bazingse, Loenum, Yahon, the Bahaduna, Hiram Karazi, Relax to Rek, Tuan Tuan Ba, Magi Magi, Yum the Gimapan, the Saturi, Missing Si, Magi Mayagi, Gumda, Quick Corindal, Tamanogi, Aduguarebama, Laure, Adu Genem, Samadi, Rim Star, Magi Magi, Dedicated Labour, Building Sing, Wabish. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Nong Thom Bambirin tweeted that one month's salary of the cabinet ministers, including his, will be donated to CM's COVID-19 reliefs fund. He also mentioned that two separate buildings, one each at Rims and Janems, will be reserved for eventualities and one central control room will be opened at Chief Minister's office 24-7. West Bengal's reported its first death case due to novel coronavirus bringing India's death toll to nine, including two foreigners. Total number of positive cases in India has surged to 433. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has returned to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, urging him to suspend all incoming flights to the state with immediate effect. Kerala High Court has declared vacation from March 24th till April 8th. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation, DGCA, has advised all airlines and airport operators to keep passenger interactions at a minimum and maintain an adequate space. It also asks airlines provide hand sanitizers to the staff and passengers and to keep seats between passengers empty to ensure social distancing. 
Delhi Sikh Gurudwara Management Committee has made necessary arrangements to avail quarantine facilities at Majnu Katila Gurudwara. Meanwhile, criminal cases have been resisted against four persons of violating quarantine gu guidelines in Orissa. Supreme Court also shut down its lawyer chambers, suspended all in-person hearings. However, informed that hearings in urgent matters will be carried out through virtual means. It may be mentioned that the virus has affected more than 15,321 people worldwide. COVID-19 has killed more than 5,476 people in Italy alone, making it a hot zone of the world. USA and Spain have become worst hit countries with most people tested positive for the deadly coronavirus. Delhi police have registered a case against a man who allegedly spat and called Corona on a Manipuri girl studying in Delhi. Impact News sources said that a man who came on a white scooty carried out the repulsive act at Vijayanagar, North Delhi yesterday, following which Delhi police registered a case against the men under Indian Penal Code IPC Section 509. It may be mentioned that Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Ministry of Minority Affairs of India, Minister of State Kiran Rijiju tweeted on March 18 that strict advisory had been issued to all states after discussing it with Ministry of Home Affairs, Northeast Division regarding incidents of racial attacks faced by the Northeast people in the wake of coronavirus pandemic outbreak due to cultural ignorance, prejudice, mindset and lack of understanding. Desam, in a press release, strongly condemned the infamous incident which happened to a Manipuri girl studying in Delhi. The organization has demanded the authorities concerned to award befitting legal punishments to the culprit involved in the incident. Desam appealed to the schools and colleges of the state to make hand sanitizers by using the ethanol and isopropyl ethanol available in the schools and colleges by using WHO's formula to curb shortage of hand sanitizers. And amid a coronavirus pandemic outbreak, several states in the country have declared lockdown till March 31st. The union territories and state are Jammu and Kashmir, Delhi, Maharashtra, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram, Jharkhand, Punjab, Uttarakhand, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, West Bengal, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh. Jammu and Kashmir government declared lockdown in entire union territory of the state till March 31st, during which only 16 essential services will be operational. JNK's Chief Secretary VBR Subramaniam issued the order of the lockdown last evening. He directed the district administrations to ensure that all goods vehicles, including those carrying essential items, are allowed during the lockdown period. Arunachal Pradesh government also imposed complete safety restrictions in the state from 5 p.m. today till the midnight of 31st March in the wake of the fast-spreading coronavirus in the country. Jharkhand government announced statewide lockdown till March 31st. Though no positive cases of COVID-19 have been detected in the state so far, but all neighboring states have confirmed positive cases. Emergency services and essential commodities will be exempted from the lockdown. Mizoram government also announced partial lockdown across the state in interests of public health and safety to a till 29th of March to prevent the spread of the pandemic disease. Chhattisgarh government also imposed lockdown in seven districts of the state till March 31st. All the offices, institutions, transport services and other activities will be closed except essential services. All interstate and inter-district passenger vehicles cease operations except for few private vehicles running for emergencies following the state government's order to suspend all transport activities with immediate effect. Wahang Lake Kaiser parking board deserted looks. Transport ticket counters in North AOC and in various places remain closed. ISBT also remain shut down. However, those people returning from outside the state are facing major difficulties in returning back to their respective homes at far off places.
Amidst fears of the COVID-19 outbreak, long queues we are seen at the petrol pumps across the state since early morning. The state government's order declaring imposition of CRPC 144 and restriction on gathering of more than four persons in various districts of the state remain in vain. Oil pumps of Imphal areas are bearing the grunt of lack of adequate petrol supply, hence leading to closing down of oil pumps around afternoon. However, services continue at NRL pump in Kuraya's people lined up with long queues till late afternoon. Manipur district sing da CRPC 144 thamz nara mi mari dekhen pun bhi adana bolay ano thok la bosunga si Manipur ki mukhong kya da maro ina lambi shorok amde petrol pump sing sing da mi yang jinna ki gai thok sing na petrol sing dizal sing khado shilla hu na bu pandam da petrol pump sing da kiu sang sang liyap tu na thau lo na ki kobi 19 hari ba lai na asina Manipur da sandrok tu na ba lai ang sing thorang kya lokhat padana tu na hari lai na asina maram orega mi amna panic bank thok tu na ba abil thora bosu mi amna ukhul tab wat pagi mi dia dumuk sang tari maram tu na. Nah, kita makai dulu konkrit level planning atau paket tu na. Yang biaya fana ba, tau silam atau paket pergi. Tangai fadab di adumok lady. Orang ceri ba, lal pola wayang bom gelu ini na. Kamera person Subhas Sharma, Impact News, Infall. Harry Cohn in a press release urged the government to take up legal actions against those involved in spreading misleading news on COVID-19 on social media amid fear gripping the public of the pandemic disease. It also appealed the people to extend their support and cooperation to the government to ward off the disease. An intensive preventive measures that are underway across the state against COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. City police personnel along with Kedo carried out heavy cleanliness drive at the temporary markets in Kwaidambant market today. The team led by City Police Station O.C. Sudhir and Kedo President Soiba Maniton cleaned up dirt and sprayed disinfectants in the market areas. Speaking on the sidelines, Kedo President Soiba Maniton said the drive was held in support to the government's preventive measures against COVID-19. As a part of the preventive measures taken up to combat COVID-19, what members of Kurai Nandai Bamlaikai, Gram Panchayat led by Pradhan Yumnam Chitra, carried out cleanliness drive at various areas of Lamdong market today. Hand sanitizers and face masks were also distributed to those coming to withdraw money from ATM booths. Speaking to media, Pradhan Yumnam Chitra appealed people to avoid social gathering to stay at home and be a responsible citizen in taking measures to curb COVID-19 outbreak. Sadamahi Lining Lubtin Adhok Committee in a press release informed that a public meeting scheduled to be held at a shrine of Ima Kuntok Nganbi in Thangmaiban on April 12 has been cancelled in wake of COVID-19. Thaubal Municipal Council along with Thaubal Fire Tender also sprayed disinfectants at Thaubal Bazaar and Kiam Babu Bazaar today. Thaubal Police Medical Department and Fire Service staffs also took part in the drive. Justice Committee in Anglo-Manipuri War 1891 in a press release informed that this year's memorial event to commemorate the martyrs who laid down their lives in the Anglo-Manipuri War 1891 will be cancelled due to the COVID-19 situation. And CEO ADC Churachanpur Lalthrazam MCS has ordered to close down local shops and markets in the district from tomorrow in view of COVID-19. A central team led by Joint Secretary Health Government of India, Vivek Devagan, IAS also inspected the condition of Churachanpur district today. Speaking to media, CEO ADC Churachanpur Lalthrazam MCS said the state was taken up following a meeting conveyed in presence of medical officers, SDOs and DC to what of COVID-19. He appealed people to stay home and safe.
Prescribed KCP People's War Group Marxist Center in a press release clarified that the Red Guard Carter of the group Soibam Alim Nganba Maitai, who was arrested by a combined team of Imphal East Commando and Assam Rifles, had whatsoever no connection with the group. And on that note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on people queuing at MSPD sale office for prepaid electric recharge. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. People lined up long queues at MSPDCL office in Kaishampa today amid prevailing CRPC Section 144 imposed in the state to recharge the electric bill due to failure of prepaid electricity recharge through PTM because of technical glitch for the past three days. People thronged at MSPDCL office upon getting prior information of announcement of lockdown in the state due to COVID-19 situation and lined up long queues despite objection by Manipur police personnel. Speaking to media regarding the situation, MSPDCL managing director in charge H. Santi Kumar assured that there will be no problem regarding prepaid electric recharge through PTM starting today asserting that arrangements are underway for MSPDCL to provide 24-hour service. He appealed people not to panic of power outages during the lockdown. He said electric prepaid electric recharge can also be done through an application of MSPDCL over and above recharge through net banking and PTM. For any power supply-related complaints, people may contact company helpline number 1912 or 76 double zero eight one two three two or seven six four double zero eight one two three eight Narana Handagi PTM de Gito would do Adu Yadi do Hujiarani. How is your quitty Sieska Toroga can take to Modernas Hidegi? Narang the Equation Sina than the Toga do PTM do my Yarani, Horin Dormong so Yarani do my postpaid key. Mobile and TV away, Han Levy application to the prepaid issue to Missas of Viana when I do the application to the Hapsen when I go IT team thing as I take him away. I do develop the moment of the Hang Ting of the Hang Wong, the Quay and Pabesto Rani. I do not, I say mobile digging as I mobile EPC download or a gun. I do give mobile EPC through the Adum Missas of Suyarani. My own Miam Nakasumi Pineality, a quay, a quay essential service, the twenty four by seven at the work only, a quay team Adum Lay. I have one nine one two I have a complaint. I have a mobile number. 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 Managing Director in Charge of Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited, MSPDCL, Hijam Santikumar said, efforts are made to generate electricity from the solid waste management plant at Lamdeng Kuno in Imphal West District, latest by March 31st. Speaking exclusively to Impact News today, Shanti Kumar said the solid waste management plant is operated under an Ahmedabad-based company, IEC TSL in the Engineers Energy LLP. He asserted that MSPDCL will purchase one unit of electricity at the rate of 5.80 rupees from the company. He maintained that wires and machines to convert waste into electricity have been set up for the power transmission from the plant, which will generate one megawatt of electricity till the powerhouse at Hiroshima. He said the remaining works which was to be done by an expert team from Gujarat are still pending as the team cancelled their proposed visit yesterday due to the country-wide public curfew to fight COVID-19. He expressed firm belief that MSPDCL will finish all necessary activities as soon as the team arrives in the state. Thirty first March for the evacuation to Wahonena. I do get Target Tamina do almost. I do give him the letter meaning around say Mugi commissioning engineers in Gio Canento Romani. I do the Akoi, Uzilla River, Kanogi, Corona virus key issues. She take him with Gujarat, Laka, the name with Tim. I do Laga, my commissioning to Roga to me, Bakushin to Wiavagi, Pivum the letter of me. I do the Kitang Ganoto, no Fuzile, a few city, a Pandi, Moy Lako Zuparatare, a push the Gimisu, Ganotoroga, evacuation it about to testing commissioning it about to the Nicel Epending Lazy. I don't know. Walking 
kano to phanga gadi working days phajana shu bo ya bagi kano phanga di ya madun mi mari ni manga ni mung da koi evacuation to bo ya bagi kano de lai ra phiban de lai ra adan moi na generate to ra ga akoi mai du lok thu akoi system da option bi ya bagi film de lai four or five days complete working days phanga da dum ya ni Manipur State Council DGR government in exiled at London appealed to Tulu King Lestem Basana Chauba to reconsider contesting in the Rajya Sabha election to become an MP considering the people and future of the state. Council Chief Minister Yambem Birin in a press release said Manipur was formed under Manipur State Council Constitution Act 1947 and not under Republic Constitution of India. It also mentioned that the de jure government will submit a petition to Her Majesty the Queen against the Union of India with legal aid of Queen's Council Barista. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer produced by Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development IBSD Imphal to combat COVID-19 pandemic outbreak were made available to those working under essential emergency service sector today. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer produced by the staffs and scientists of the Institute under the aegis of the Institute Director based on the formula recommended by World Health Organization WHO were distributed to workers of Imphal Municipal Corporation, police personnel and who are on duty at Quarambad Market and media persons. Speaking to media, one scientist of the Institute, Dr. S. Indira, said IBSD produced hand sanitizers in wake of COVID-19 outbreak. She asserted that if ethanol, one of the most important raw materials in producing hand sanitizers, is made available to the Institute, they will be able to provide hand sanitizers to the public abundantly. Security personnel dang nata beda su ako na municipal tigi employ maya mama ako yung amod akay sing toy ba maya mzu kitang high nick wey da moy tau na ba moy gitama ka safety gitama ka moy desu ako yung toy adu gisu matag ta ako yung media personnel moy su 24 into 7 service tawo niya moy gisu kudong tibesi kanja raga moy da ngasi priorities ipisa raga ako yung angam makara yenza ba hand sanitizer production tawo ni basi World Health Organization gi instruction gi moy gisu formula do polo tawo raga ako yung samza ba ni public tawo hangan basi ako yung population si adu kimi matig yaman niya ako adu gisu po Tudi ako yung kitang waga ni maram di limited stock tanga sa gi ingredient at the same gada ba kano sa magi ingredient si pang pang draga di ako yung the same mga mo yun dunuga ako yung the 99% alcohol it or isopropanol si ako yung the pibira gadi ako yung the same mga mo yun dunuga public demand ako yung supply tawo ng mga Jamiatul Ulam e Manipur in a press release informed that a dua ceremony will be held at Jama Masjid in Babupara Imphal after a Zuma namaz on. March 27 to pray for the government's successful in all the precautionary measures taken up to prevent COVID-19 novel coronavirus outbreak. Seco distributed food items to poverty-stricken families in Singh Jamai Waikom Lekai today. Seco took up the initiatives following imposition of CRPC section 144 and declaration of lockdown in the state in wake of pandemic COVID-19. Film Forum Manipur in a press release informed that the 8th Nongin Manipuri Music Festival 2020 scheduled to be held on April 19 has been postponed indefinitely due to COVID-19 situation. It also declared that all film shootings have been banned from today. Film Forum office will remain closed till March 31st. Center head of Takshila Institute Imphal Center in Manoranjan said, Online classes are being provided to students following ban of coaching class by the government in wake of COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. He asserted that the step was taken up in view of the upcoming NEET 2020 exam on May 3rd. And Manorajan said study materials are even delivered to the students to pass NEET exam successfully. He asserted that the institute has been guiding NEET and JEE exam expiring in students for the past 21 years nationwide. He added that new teaching methodologies and exam techniques are introduced to medical and engineering aspiring students in the Imphal Center of the Institute. Preparation 
medical entrance kita mungkin preparation tu benda tu mungkin mungkin pangannya hai na kui kasar tu je tak selak dia punya online saya punya hujan itu hujan ni tu hujan itu juga lebat juga situasi ni memang makan tak punya yang punya sikit tu boleh paket sahaja hujan itu kui angan sing kui kita register tu angan sing si hujan si ni online kelas itu tu sahaja tu ini pengajaran kui hujan tu kan ay mga pasing yung mga ginit ha kada ba ang mga iba ay yung yung class tapo yata yung yung panpatas sa panlalaro kasi kung yung tasa lada at yung mga tubig ay yung online classes yung yung mga sabi sa lobby An inquiry report was submitted to Special Court ND and PS today regarding heroin and wireless yours tablets worth 27 crore rupees which was seized from Chandal ADC chairman Lukose Zou and other seven persons in 2018 which is missing from Malkana of Nap police station. Prosecution witness hearing of the case will be held on April 4th. Imphal East District Welfare VDF Association has extended financial aid of 1 lakh rupees to the family members of late Mohammad Bilal Khan from Kiangai Urup Kuno Awanglai Kai who passed away in a tragic incident on March 14th. SDPO Lamlai, KSH Ravi Kumar, IPS Rulbung, OCC Surgeon and members of the Association of Imphal East District under the supervision of Imphal East District SP Jogesh Chandra Haubijam handed over the amount to the family members. International Olympics Committee IOC might postpone the upcoming 2020 Tokyo Olympics scheduled to be held from July 24th due to the coronavirus outbreak. President of International Olympics Committee IOC, President Thomas Bagd, declared the same on Sunday. He also said that postponement of Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will not help prevent the further spread of the disease. It may be mentioned that the Olympic Games held since 1896 have been cancelled three times due to the world wars. Meanwhile, Swimming Federation France, Norwegian Olympic Committee and US Swimming Federation have urged the IOC to postpone the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo until the novel coronavirus pandemic outbreak is under control. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. State Cabinet declares total lockdown in Manipur with immediate effect till March 31st to tackle COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. India reports nine to COVID-19 dead after a main in West Bengal sucker to the infection. Total positive coronavirus cases in India reach 430. And Delhi police registers a case against a man who allegedly spat and called Corona on a Manipuri girl.